Good morning, everyone. Welcome to St. Francis of Assisi, American National Catholic Church. Our mass this morning is said in memory of Colette Romano and Florencia Pelo. Our song of gathering this morning is number 358, Holy, Holy, Holy. Would you please stand to the degree that you're able? Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also also with you. So what wonderful it is today to celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Trinity and we just began by blessing ourselves in the name of the Trinity, right? So as we continue to uh, uh, reflect and somehow um, try to unpack this sacred mystery. Uh, let us uh, re uh, listen to the words of the gospel today and be able to live it out in our daily lives. As we continue with our celebration, let us call to mind our faults and our failures and ask God for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God, a Father of mercy, to so the death and resurrection of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has reconciled the world to himself and sent us the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the church, may God grant you pardon and peace and absolve you from our sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us all lift up our voices in this wonderful hymn of praise. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we were We praise you for your glory, glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Take away the sin of the world, have mercy. 
share in the life that is yours with your Son and the Holy Spirit. Strengthen that life within your church that we may know your presence, observe your commands, and proclaim the gospel to every nation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Ask now about former ages, long before your own, ever since the day that God created people on the earth. Ask from one end of heaven to the other. Has anything so great as this ever happened? Or has its like ever been heard of? Has any people ever heard the voice of a God speaking out of a fire, as you have heard and lived? Or has any God ever attempted to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation, by trials, by signs and wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, and by terrifying displays of power, as the Lord your God did for you in Egypt, before your very eyes? So acknowledge today and take to heart that the Lord is God in heaven above, and on the earth beneath, there is no other. Keep his statutes and his commandments, which I am commanding you today, in your own well-being and that of your descendants after you, so that you may long remain in the land that the Lord your God is giving you for all time. The word of the Lord. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all their hope. For he spoke, and it was made. He commanded, and it stood forth. Bless
Spirit of God, our sons and daughters of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption to sonship. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very spirit bearing witness to our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If, in fact, we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached them and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you until the end of the age. My sisters and brothers, this is truly good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's it. That's my... <laughs> no. So, good morning. So, this doctrine of the Trinity, one God who eternally exists as three distinct persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, is at the core of our faith. The creed we profess expresses that we, as Christians, believe in the Father who created all things, both seen and unseen. The Son, Jesus Christ, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and died for our sins, and rose again on the third day, seated at the right hand of the Father. 
in the Holy Spirit who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Growing up, we have been taught to believe this creed and as a community, we recite it during Mass on Sundays to re reaffirm our belief and refresh in our minds this profound mystery of our faith. Yet even as we profess our belief in the Trinity, our minds are incapable of completely understanding this sacred mystery. The truth remains hidden, and yet we await this joyful hope that at the end of our journey, we will see God face to face and fully immerse ourselves in the glory of the Trinity. But as for now, the best that we can do is to come up with an analogy that would simplify the understanding of the Trinity. And I believe a good analogy of the Trinity is a model of a family. And that's how we've heard in our second reading today, we call God Abba, Father, right? And we are all his children. We can say that the Trinity is a family. There is one family, but there could be three distinct persons in the family, each person distinct somehow, but there is a great love exchanged within the family of the Trinity. And we are at the center of that love. And we do have a term for this relationship between the persons of the Trinity. It is this Greek word called perichoresis. And only get to say it once a year. <laughs> Yet somehow this immense love of the Trinity is not just something that is reserved um, within the Trinity. This love is not just reserved within the Trinity. But the whole is of creation. All of us are born from this love. And therefore, therefore all of creation participates in this life of the Trinity, whether we are aware of it or unaware of it. As creatures of our divine creator, who have been given knowledge and wisdom so that we are aware that we are children of God, we are given this important task as commissioned in our gospel today, to bring all of God's children this awareness of their divine inheritance. Each person created in the image and likeness of God bears the semblance of God regardless of who they are, what they have done, whatever their creed is. And therefore, as effective ministers, our task of proclaiming the truth of the Trinity is made clear by the example of our lives. Our preaching is made more believable if we actually live it out by living the gospel. What seems too intellectual and abstract is made more comprehensible by the love that emanates from ourselves, not just as individuals, but as a community acting as one. Besides, what more do we need to do aside from preaching love? God is love. And therefore, those who know love know God in a profound way. Let's face it, that not all in the world will believe in the, theolo in the theology of the Trinity as we know it. Not everyone are Christians. But if we preach love, we know that by loving, they have already known the essence of what the Trinity is all about. So many in our world today hunger, this feel, hunger this, to feel this love, this love from the Trinity. Despite how interconnected we are today with the internet, with the apps on our phones, because of our technology, so many still feel alone in their struggle and pain. Despite the abundance of our world and the vast resources we have on earth, many will die today of hunger. Despite the wealth we have in our world, 1% owns 43% of our global financial assets. So these indicators are a call for help 
that we need to do more. We need to do more to proclaim the love of God, the love of the Trinity. While it is important that we preach and baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we must also remember our responsibility to continually nurture one another after the, initi the initiation rites are done. Remember that we are a family. God is our Father. And what makes us a family? What makes a family a family? What is it? Love. It is the love that we share with one another. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all stand and profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became a man. For our sake, he was crucified in her conscious fire. He suffered and died and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us offer our prayers and petitions before our Heavenly Father who hears and answers all our prayers. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of gratitude, that we may recognize all the great things that God has done for us, and with grateful hearts, share our blessings with those around us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For children, as they begin their summer vacation, that they may grow and be renewed this summer and be preserved from all harm. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the ANCC, Bishop George, and especially Nuestra Señora de la Maria, Mia Rosa in Germantown, Maryland. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have experienced abuse, injustice, or prejudice, that God will heal their pain, give them strength to live life fully, and reveal the structures that have contributed to their pain. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of peace, that God will open new pathways for dialogue in the Middle East, so that all may live in peace and each family may live in safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the service of our nation, that God's glory will shine upon them and that they may share in the peace and joy of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Lena and Orla, who received confirmation on May 19th, and for Robin, Rory, and Sean, who will receive communion on June 2nd, may they experience God's love for them now and always. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and their caretakers, are there any we should especially remember? Frank Davis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died and those who mourn them, are there any we should especially remember? Colette Romano, Florencia Gallo, Father Pat Cacicler, 
Father Vincent, Father Lou, Steve, Brian. Phil, Peggy. Dennis. Okay. We praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those intentions in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you all our prayers and petitions, those that we've spoken out aloud and those in the depths of our hearts. We ask you to hear and answer them, if they be for our good, for, for we make them in the name of Christ, your Son. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Please turn to song number 357. O oh God Almighty Father, 357. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice be be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, our God, sanctify the gifts of your servants as we call upon your holy name, and by their power make us an everlasting gift to you. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. With your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, 
but in a trinity of one nature. All that you, have, that you reveal of your glory, we believe also of your Son and of the Holy Spirit. In confessing the true and eternal Godhead, we adore three distinct persons, one in being and equal in majesty. And so with angels and archangels, with cherubim and seraphim, we sing the unending hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed in all creation, rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. From age to age, you gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Lord God, we humbly pray, by the power of your Spirit, sanctify these gifts we have brought before you, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was handed over to death, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which shall be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Calling to mind, Lord God, the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension to heaven, and eagerly awaiting the day of his return, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering, and see the victim by whose sacrifice you were pleased to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. Let him make us an everlasting gift to you, that we may share in the inheritance of your saints with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. Francis and St. Clair, and all your saints on, us, on whose constant intercession we rely for help. Lord, may this sacrifice which has made our peace with you 
advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, your servants, the patriarchs of Alexandria, Antioch, Constantinople, Jerusalem, and Rome, George, our bishop, all bishops, priests, and deacons, all ministers of your church, and the entire people your son has gained for you. Merciful Father, hear the prayers of the family you have gathered here before you, and unite yourself, all your children, now scattered over the face of the earth. Welcome into your kingdom, our departed brothers and sisters, and all who have left this world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy with them your everlasting glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you give the world everything that is good. <clears throat> Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Taught by our Savior's command and formed by the word of God, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from evil, and give us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. My dear friends, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God. This is Jesus, our brother, who encouraged us to call God our Father, and happy are we 
who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please turn to song number 508, One Love Released, number 508.
and I shall raise them up, raise them from the dead. One bread, one body, one cup, one call. One faith, one spirit, present in us all. Let us pray. Lord our God, let our reception of this sacrament and our worship of the ever-blessed and undivided Trinity bring us wholeness of mind and body. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. So thank you for uh, being here today. I know it's Memorial Day. I guess you don't have plans to go to the beach. <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, there, uh, the Montclair Pride is going to be in two weeks. So we're looking for volunteers to uh, be at our booth. So we're going to have a booth. I'm going to be there. But I'm going to have mass here first, and then I'll go there. Right? So we need people to uh, man the booth while, while I'm not there and when I get there. Okay, so, so, uh, so if you're interested, please hit me up, right? So my, my email is at the bulletin, uh, in the, in the uh, uh, printed bulletin, and also in the uh, electronic bulletin, right? So the Lord be with you. And also with you. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. May the face of the Lord shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please turn to song number 749. America the Beautiful, 749. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, Six. 
says.